We're here with Coach Frank Hagee of Augsburg Football. Coach, thanks for sitting down with us today. Yeah, thanks for having me. It's a pleasure. Uh, just to start, we're, talk, uh, we're going to talk some football here with you. You guys start off the season with a, with a pretty tough schedule. You're sitting at 1-2, and 0-1 oh in the conference. But how is that tough schedule playing Wartburg and playing St. Olaf right away? How is that sort of helping you prepare for the rest of the season coming up here? You know, I like our schedule. You know, we started off with Crown College, got a nice win. It's important for the guys to get some confidence, get things going. And we went down to Warburg, who's always ranked in the top 25 nationally, uh, at their place and gave them a heck of a run down there and ended up losing by 14, but played a nice game. And then we had a bye week, got a week off, then we get into conference play. We went down to play the tough St. Olaf team uh, at their homecoming. We're up at halftime by seven. And then you know, ended up losing by 10. Uh, couldn't get the ball moving much on offense in that second half. And, Gave up a 90-yard touchdown, which kind of uh, took the wind out of our sail. But you know, we're playing good competition. The guys are playing hard. They're understanding the uh, speed you have to play at in the MIAC to win football games, and we're excited to parlay that into this uh, homecoming game on Saturday versus Hamlin. Okay, you you've been in every game so far. If but you're look probably looking to tweak some things going into this Hamlin game. What what things are you maybe looking to tweak between this last week and the adjustments you want to make coming into Hamlin's game? Well, our big thing has been just giving up a couple big plays on defense. Every week, it seems like we're going to give up. We've been giving up two or three just big plays, a blown coverage, a missed assignment, a guy coming off of a guy chasing a scrambling quarterback. So just assignment football, especially on defense, understanding how we're supposed to be and doing that, trusting that the other guys are going to do their job. I think mean, that's one big focus uh, on offense is being consistent, taking what they give us, uh, being happy and excited with a four or five yard game and just take the small ones, take the small ones, and then the big plays will happen. Uh, and a big third point of us has been the penalties. We've been averaging nine penalties a game, uh, which is about four too many. Should be around the five or six range. We've been in the nine range. We gave uh, St. Olaf 150 yards in penalties, and we only gave up 350 yards total, so that's just way too much. So those are the three areas of the game we're trying to clean up as we uh, try to progress. Absolutely. You mentioned you want to avoid giving up those big plays on defense, but overall you have to be pretty happy with how your defense uh, is set this year. Is that right? Yeah, no, defense has been playing extremely well. Uh, we played at St. Olaf, they were averaging 230 yards a game rushing. We held them to nine um, rushing yards on 35 attempts, uh, and we're good against the pass except for the big 90-yard touchdown pass. Mm -hmm. uh, did a nice job at Warburg, you know, just gave up uh, very few yards against Crown. So the defense is playing good, playing better. Uh, I think we're greatly improved over where we were this time last year. We just need to keep uh, keep on rolling. Okay. What you guys are known for is that that spread offense. You guys like to throw the ball. That's that's part of your game plan. You're going to throw the ball a lot. This year you've got a new quarterback working with 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 a receiving core. You also graduated your top receiver last year, so some of those receivers are getting used to a new position, new role. How is that? How is that sort of coming along? What's what kind of adjustment period are you looking at in that aspect? Well, you know, like you said, with a new quarterback, you know it's going to take him for a while to get into the groove. Um, Marcus Brown has been doing a nice job, but he's been missing a few reads and then maybe not being as accurate with the football as he could be, and maybe not running it when he could. So he's going to get better and better. He's going to be an awesome quarterback in the MIC. I think he'll be one of the best you'll see in the MIAC. But it's going to take him probably about half this season or so to kind of really get rolling and I'm excited to see him progress week to week and eventually he's just going to take off and just be be outstanding and say that the receivers are all he like said since so graduated Royce Winford everybody had to move positions and fill guys in and we have I don't know, a handful probably five very good wide receivers um, and an excellent tight end so those guys are good but they're still you know getting the groove getting used to Marcus and getting everybody on the same page have you seen have you seen progression already between preseason and, and already just week three? Yeah, absolutely. You can just tell by the way the guys kind of carry themselves. They go back to the huddle, they get lined up. It's more confident in their assignment and where they're supposed to be and executing and all those kind of things. And, and also, like I mentioned earlier, just getting used to the speed, just playing so fast is with that, that burst uh, during every play. Okay. This week is a great week for Augsburg. Chance for the football team to really, really come and shine to a big crowd this weekend for homecoming. What does homecoming mean to you as a coach and, and to your program and to the, the community as a whole? Well, homecoming is huge. You know, when you look at your program, you look at the season, homecoming is when you have to star as a must win. You've got to win your homecoming game if you're going to have a successful season. 
and build a program. And we've been we've been successful uh, last year winning homecoming. Uh, this year we've got Hamlin here, a great opportunity to get a win. We've got to win. We've got to play our best game. We've got to play our smartest game. He said the place will be packed with alumni and friends. And you get when that win, people get excited about it. See, it's fun. They'll keep coming out to the games um, if you get that W. So I think it, the homecoming's big. It's huge, and uh, our guys are excited to play in the game. A lot of fun activities up planned outside of the football game. But what's one reason that, that some of the students should come out to the game and, and see you guys this weekend? Well, like you said, for more than just football. The activities start at 11 o'clock. There's just something for everybody, uh, plus just the socialization aspect of it. Just see, be seen, support the uh, college, support the football program. You know, even if football's not your thing, the homecoming is more about the fellowship and the, the relationships and the networking and all those kind of things. Um, you know, and as far as the football goes, we, like you said, we run the air augie spread. It's awesome. It's wide open. The ball's getting thrown all over the place. We're putting yards up in points, and it'll be a lot of fun. Coach, thanks for sitting down with us. Good luck this weekend. Thank you.